Hi, my name is Jana, and today I'm going to do an object lesson on friendship, working in community, and spiritual gifts. What you'll need is an empty water bottle, um, and I've just drawn a little bit of a happy face on there with a marker. You also need a, a balloon, um, again, drawn a little happy face on there with a marker. Uh, you'll need a lighter. Um, I'm using 12 tea light candles, baking soda, vinegar, and a funnel or a piece of paper rolled up like a funnel. Um, I also have a towel to kind of catch some of the mess. All right, let's get started. God's given each one of us gifts, talents, resources. He's made each one of us unique. And you can see if we have uh, so let's say Bonnie the bottle, um, she looks quite different than say uh, Barbara the balloon. Uh, she's, her body's a different shape, she's been given different resources. Uh, so inside Bonnie, uh, we're gonna put some white vinegar. And inside Barbara the balloon, we're just putting some baking soda. Okay, so Barbara the balloon has baking soda. Bonnie the bottle has white vinegar. Now, they are each being given the same task to put out three candles. And this is just like you and me. Um, we're unique, we have our own gifts and talents, our, our, our bodies are different, our lives are different, and yet we've all been given similar, a similar task. We've all been given the Great Commission. We've all been commanded to love God, to love others, uh, to serve the world. And let's see, can Bonnie the Bottle put out the three candles? Yes, she can. We've made a little bit of a mess, but liquid and fire doesn't match so well. Well, how about Barbara the balloon? Can she put out her three candles? Absolutely. Also baking soda and flames don't, don't go together so well. Again, we've made a little bit of a mess. Not perfect, but we've each been given what we need uh, to go out and do what God wants us to do. But I think what's more important than being able to go out and do whatever we want to do on our own is actually doing what we have been commanded to do in community and in friendship and in fellowship within churches. Um, and that's really what I want to talk about today. So if I just take these away a little bit, and they're a bit of a mess, so I'm gonna use some new candles. And let's light those ones. But this time, instead of getting Bonnie and Barbara to do the task individually, we're actually gonna have them work together, okay? Okay, so that baking soda and vinegar reacts and creates carbon dioxide gas, which is actually bubbling up into that balloon and filling it up. And carbon dioxide, let's just pretend that that gas that's created is a reaction of my skills or Barbara's skills and Bonnie's skills working together. And the Bible says that the church is like a body and it has many different parts and each part is very important no matter what, what part you are, whether you're the finger or the tongue, you're very important. And when we work in friendship, in community with one another, 
we allow the Holy Spirit to actually work. And that's what's happening here. And if we just let that carbon dioxide come out, very quickly, very easily, no mess. The candles are still intact. Those flames go out. And I think that's what I want to share with you today, an object lesson on friendship, community, and gifts of the Holy Spirit, is that using your gifts within community with other people who have been given their own unique gifts is much more efficient. Uh, and it allows the Holy Spirit to work. So it's not just me and my gifts going out, but it's actually the reaction of my gifts with somebody else's gift, which creates um, the power of the Holy Spirit that goes out and does the work on our behalf. Thanks for watching. <laughs>